He terrorized women for years. The wooded rapist attacked from the shadows, accused of raping at least 13 victims before he was caught and convicted. Tonight, Jason Burdick is demanding a new trial, challenging key evidence that helped to put him away. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is here with this exclusive story, and the Supreme Court upheld his convictions. Well, that's exactly right, but now he's asking something Vicki called post-conviction relief. It's a last-ditch effort by a rapist facing the rest of his life in prison. Jason Burdick was linked to more than a dozen rapes dating back to the early 1990s in Davidson, Wilson, and Williamson counties. He'd attack from the brush at night, earning the label Wooded Rapist. After his arrest in 2008, he denied attacking anyone. No. No way. And everybody who's ever loved me or known me, they absolutely not know that I'm not a, a rapist or never have been. But in a series of trials, juries convicted Burdick each and every time. The key evidence in one trial? A piece of flesh bitten off Burdick's hand by one of his victims, Patricia Young, who agreed to go public. And I picked it out of my tooth in my left hand, thinking he's going to see this and take it away from me. And I want it. Burdick is now challenging the competence of his lawyers, claiming they did not do enough to challenge everything from the DNA evidence to the GPS tracker detectives used to tail him when he first became a suspect. He's hoping to get one new trial and then several others. His petition will be heard by a higher court. But as Young said after Burdick's first conviction six years ago, I hope he never sees the light of day again. He is a career criminal. He is a serial rapist, in my opinion, and I hope he's dealt with accordingly. Most legal experts say Burdick's petition really is nothing more than a last-ditch legal long shot, but we've learned he does now have a new attorney, and he plans to first challenge his conviction for rape in Williamson County. In his mind, more to follow after that. Now, Burdick did have problems when he first went to prison, right, Nick? You know, you'll remember, Vicki, that initially there were death threats coming from other inmates inside the prison, really because of the nature of his high-profile crimes against women. Now, he was put in segregation at the time, but in recent years, Burdick has indeed settled in behind bars, but he now wants out. All right. Thanks, Nick. Jason Burdick is now 44 years old, having now served six years in prison. He'll not be eligible for parole until he's 71 years old.